Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Outriders Legendary Weapon Review. The more I talk about this game, the more hyped I am becoming, and I truly cannot wait for the full release on April 1st. We have already covered two legendary weapons here at MGN, now let's move on to Golem's Limb. Golem's Limb is one of Outriders legendary pump action shotguns, and honestly, it's very hard to not sound like I'm repeating myself over and over with how these weapons look, but wow, this gun is truly stunning. The way that the electricity is just pulsing through the gun, and rocks are just slightly hovering above it, like it's damaged and was once pieced together to form the gun's rocky exterior armor. The design team that are coming up with these awesome looks are clearly very talented and I cannot wait to see more. Now let's talk about stats and mods. The clip size is 6 and the RPM is at 68. Damage is sitting at 144 whilst reload speed is 2.1 seconds. And finally the crit multiplier is 125%. For me personally, 6 shots does seem a little small. There are pump action shotguns in the game right now which has a magazine that is higher than 6. Accuracy is at 78%, stability is at 21% and the range is, well to be expected, quite short at 15 meters. With the stability only being 21%, I personally don't believe that this is actually a bad thing at all. If you're using this shotgun at long range, then you're really not utilizing its full potential properly. Stability doesn't necessarily matter when you're stood close to enemies ready to blow off their limbs. The first mod is called Golem Rising, which personally is my favorite mod for this weapon. Killing shots grant you a protective golem effect for three seconds. Basically, in other words, your body gets covered in rock, forming an armor-like structure, very similar to the Devastator's second ability. The second mod for Golem's Limb is called Vampire, whereby killing shots grant 15% skill leech boost for 20 seconds. Personally, this isn't as appealing as the Golem Rising mod, as the Vampire mod acts as a passive. Nothing is visual when it comes to this mod, so you're not really going to be noticing anything as it's happening, especially with all the chaos going on on screen. Like always, I'm going to leave the gameplay running in the background so that you guys can all see the weapon in action, see how the mods work against enemies, etc. If you want to know my full opinion on Golem's Limb, then click the article at the top of the description below. I also give this gun a rating out of 10, just like I do of the other legendaries that we have reviewed. Check them out too. I really hope everyone is keeping safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.